you may be familiar with accessing Salesforce through Blackberries or iPhones, any mobile device. You may even have used our iPad application for the, the mobile or even used Chatter for mobile. But of course, you can access Salesforce directly through the Safari browser as well. And it has virtually all the same aspects that you would expect that you would see in any browser. I can, of course, scroll up and down the screen, use the iPad features like zooming in on a particular uh, piece of the screen if I wanted to see it in more detail. I can do my usual customization. So if I want to change my dashboard, for example, I can simply go in, use all of those drop downs, switch my dashboard view, and uh, change those basic customizations. Of course, we can still access all of those common pieces. Being able to drill into a pipeline to see the report that resides behind it. Scrolling through that report and seeing all the information that's available to us. Even modifying that report to go in and say, you know, rather than uh, just uh, all opportunities, just to see my opportunities only. So you can still use all of those pieces of customization that you're used to. Of course, all of the other pieces are still there from an administrative perspective being able to go into your setup area, creating custom fields, doing things on the fly, even managing your users and adding brand new users. And of course, even though you do have the Chatter application uh, right within the, um, the actual iPad itself, you can still access your Chatter and go through and view all of the information that you're used to seeing from within Salesforce, including uh, previewing of all the slides or downloading uh, any kind of PowerPoints. So I'll be able to see the introduction, download that PowerPoint to uh, a local application where I can view it. We'll be able to see all of the groups, activities, track people, follow different um, leads, accounts, contacts, and of course any custom objects you may have created as well. So if I wanted to go into a, a custom app that we've created, that's fully accessible. The search, of course, is global, as it normally is. So I can now go in and do a search for one of my uh, uh, recent items, pop into that account, and it's fully accessible. The idea is you still have the access to a complete range of functionality within the Safari browser on the iPad. 